Okay, now we're going to register our radio module to our account. First off, we need to open up a new web browser. Once we have the new web browser open, the address we need to go to is www.radiothermostat.com and then we do a forward slash filtery. Okay, when you get that in, just go to that address and you'll come up with the filtery home screen. Now you can either press the register here bar or you can go up and press register here. Either one, they both go to the same place. We'll press the register here bar. You come up with a new screen, they ask you for some information. The first bit of information they need is your address, your email address. So I'm going to put in my email address here. You need this to be a good valid email address because if something goes wrong or you forget your password, it will be used to email you the information you need. Okay, speaking of passwords, that's the next thing we know. And I recommend um, using a good password, a strong password. That means about seven characters and use letters and numbers. Make it something you can remember, but not too obvious. Okay, now we've put in our password a second time to confirm it. We're going to go up to our mailing address. Okay, and then your city. and your state and your zip code. And then what time zone you're in. This would either be Eastern Standard Time for the Eastern United States, Central, Mountain, or Pacific. And we're in the Eastern, so we're gonna go Eastern. Now we have a security code here. Yours won't be the same as mine, but it'll be very visible. All you do is you click your mouse over to the enter the numbers in the image above, or actually it's beside it, and ours is a 647034. Like I said, yours will be different. Now, if you'd like to, you can read the terms and conditions by simply clicking on terms and conditions, and it'll bring up another window, and we'll bring it up real quick. Okay, now that we're on the uh, terms of condition or terms of use page you can scroll up or scroll down and read this at your leisure when you're done simply close that section and then click the I agree to and click on register if you filled in everything correctly you'll come up with this screen and it asks you a couple quick questions here please look like the appropriate answers for the questions below does your heater work these are things that we tested out uh, earlier on. Does your air conditioner work? So we're just making sure that the thermostat works as a standalone unit. That was done in one of our earlier videos. Does your thermostat have power? And what you need to do is remove the lower cover and then remove one of the batteries. If the screen stays on, you do have a C-wire and it's working properly. If when you remove the battery, the screen goes out, then you don't have a valid C-wire. And what I recommend doing is going back to the earlier video that talks about installing a C-wire or an external power supply. We're going to say yes. So basically we've uh, verified that the furnace works, the air conditioner works, and that we have power. So we're going to go ahead and say next. And then it says You'll need a Wi-Fi capable device to set up your thermostat. Well, since it can either be used on the iPhone or iPad or Windows, and we're on the computer now, we're going to continue on with Start Here for the Windows user. Now, we've already successfully connected my thermostat to my local area network in a previous video, and we happen to be using Windows 7, so we're going to check that, and we're going to go on to Next. 
Okay, now that we have done all those things, we're cleared to go ahead and register the thermostat. So now we're going to go ahead and download it. We're going to save the file. Now, it may be a good idea at this point to write down the name, thermostat install, uh, the full name, so that you have it in case you don't know where it's going to be saved on your hard drive. You can do a search for it later. Hit save the file. Okay, now we have uh, downloaded it. We're going to simply click on the thermostat installer. Here, this saves you trying to open up another window and find it on your hard drive. You can just left click on this a couple times. And it says, the publisher could not be verified. This is our security, and it's coming up, and it says, do you want to go ahead and do it? Yeah, we want to go ahead and run this software anyways. So now it says, gives us our welcome screen, and it asks us a few questions on uh, saying it will guide, it to, guide us through the procedure. We'll just go ahead and say next. This next screen shows us that it's going to save it in the program files underneath a subdirectory called thermostat installer. I recommend you go ahead and install it there unless you have some other reason you want to install it on another hard drive or something. Uh, just, default, just install it in the uh, default directory and just go ahead and say next. Now we're just going to confirm that you really want to do this so we go ahead and say next. And if you notice this is going to be the logo that's going to uh, uh, it appears a shortcut on your screen and we just go ahead and uh, hit next. Now the thermostat installer is being installed. This will take a little bit of time so you just wait. Again our security virus uh, protection said it uh, doesn't uh, recognize this but we go ahead and allow it. It doesn't have a virus in it. Okay, it's now completed the install, so we go ahead and say close. And we can close this window up here too. Now if we minimize this window here, and we look, there's the con that we just saw that we just installed. So we go ahead and double click on that. Okay, now it brings up a new screen, and the username is simply your uh, email address that you put in earlier. Okay, and remember when we started this, we entered a password. And I told you to go ahead and write that down, and so we enter that. And we go ahead and we hit register thermostat. Now you're going to see numerous lines come up down here, and basically it's searching for the thermostat, and in our case it said it found it, and it found the IP address for it. And it now shows it up here. Okay, now it's communicating back and forth with the thermostat, and it's getting everything all set up. And with the bar, you can look at this information here. It gives you the authorization key, it gives your model, and gives you your firmware revision. Okay, now that we've completed this, the last thing we see down here is send authorization key complete. And like I said, we see our IP you might want to write down this information or go ahead and print it out. And we go ahead and we go quit. Okay, now that we've finished installing the software on our computer, our next video is going to be on logging in and adjusting the thermostat.